What is going on guys? Welcome to your 17th Ruby tutorial and I want to start out this tutorial by talking to you about something called loops. Now a loop is pretty much code that runs multiple times automatically. So let me go ahead and show you guys an example and then I'll talk you guys through it. Go ahead and write 8 dot times do puts and I'll just write like bacon or something end. Now what this does whenever we hit enter is it prints out the word bacon eight different times. Now let me go ahead and talk to you guys about this command. First of all, times is basically a method that runs code a certain number of times. So this is a method that's getting run on the eight right here. Now again as you can see a loop basically puts bacon eight different times so it basically runs this code eight times. So in order to make a loop, and this is, there are a lot of different kinds of loops, but this is the most simple one. You go ahead and write a number with times, and then whatever code you want to repeat, you put it between the keyword do and end. So what do we want to do eight times? Well, we just want to print out the word bacon on the screen. And if a lot of people, they have trouble understanding that the code that you want to run has to go in between the do and the end keyword because there's just too many keywords so there is an alternative syntax and that's instead of the do and the end keyword you can just use curly braces instead and put the code inside so you can have something like this four times and there isn't any do or end keyword just go ahead and write the code that you want to repeat in between curly braces and I know those curly braces look kind of weird but it's the key to the right of the P on your keyboard if you hold shift you see those little curly braces above the square brackets those ones even though these ones kinda look like backwards C's or whatnot. so let's just go ahead and print out the word pudding hammock spelled incorrectly pudding hamcock <laughs> that's classy so now we go ahead and hit enter and check it out the word pudding hamcock prints out four times right on the screen so like I said this is pretty much the most simple type of loop but there are alternative types of loop so let me go ahead and show you guys another one one of the types of loop instead of just writing how many times you want to print something out you give it two numbers the first number is where you want to start counting and the second number is it pretty much counts to that number so I'll show you guys an example like um, three up to and let me just give it another number now for these the parameters that we have to use have to go in between just regular parentheses so let's just count from three up to seven and what do we want to do let's just go ahead and put something stupid count from three to seven now go ahead and hit enter and check out what happens this code is going to run five times. Why does it run five times? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to start with three and it's going to count all the way up to seven. So, three, four, five, six, seven, that's five different times. So, again, instead of just giving it a single number and say run this code that many of times, you can give it two numbers and it's going to pretty much count three, four, five, six, seven, and when it gets to the end, it's going to stop running the code. Now, alternatively, you also have kind of the opposite of this, up to and down to. So you can count from like 15 down to 12 or something. And whenever you do this, it's going to run the code from 15, 14, 13, 12. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So puts, move my mouse, puts, and what do we want to write this time? This one counts down and I have one extra okay Bucky come on focus focus here I hate this little cursor I just wish it was a line but anyways go ahead and hit enter and check it out 15 14 13 10 so pretty much it starts at 15 and counts down to 12 therefore it loops the code four different times now the last loop that I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial is the step loop now what the step loop does is it starts at a number and it counts to a bigger number let's say but it steps not in increments of one it gives it alternative increments and instead of me trying to explain that I'll just go ahead and show you guys an example so zero step 
and in here you give it two parameters let's say 15 and 5 so now what we're gonna do is just print out on the screen um, 0 to 15 by fives so let's go ahead and hit enter and check it out it loops one two three four times why does this happen well what it does is you pretty much give it two values the zero is your starting point the 15 is your ending point but instead of looping 15 times we say hey don't count by ones anymore count by fives so the values that got inputted whenever we looped were zero five ten and fifteen so like I said instead of pretty much looping by one we can loop by different values using this step loop so again those are different type of loops probably the easiest one is just this times one where you say okay loop this amount of times but there are alternative ones and again I'm gonna show you why a loop is useful in the upcoming tutorials and I'm also gonna show you guys how to extract the value from that loop in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.